Hello, welcome to this tutorial from Roland DG in which we're going to look at how to print the Roland Color Systems Library. First of all, if we open up Roland VersaWorks, what we're going to need to do is to head to the media menu along the top here. When you open up the media menu, you will see that you have the option to print the Roland Color Systems Library. Depending on which machine you're on, you will, may also have the option to print the Roland Metallic Color Systems Library, the Metallic Texture Systems Library, which is a chart, or on one of the UV, UV machines, you'll be able to print the Roland Texture Systems Library using the Gloss Ink as well. For this example, I'm going to use the VS640i, which has white and metallic inks. So if I go to the Menu tab and I select the chart that I'm going to want to print, we have an option to print either the color chart type 1, type 2, the color selector, or a range of different color chips. And then the same, we have options for the metallic chart. We have the metallic color chart, color selector, or metallic color chips. If I just choose the color chart type 1, this box will pop up which says the following job will be printed. Do you want to continue? The job will not actually be immediately printed. It will just go into your queue. So if I click on OK, we'll note that it, it always comes into QA, not QB. Here we have a preview of the job. And you notice that under the special items, it has a built-in white ink backing in case you want to print this onto any clear substrates. So if we open the job settings, we'll be able to make any changes that we wish to the file. So in the layout, we can choose, choose our layout settings. I'm just going to fit this to the media size. Remember to hit get media width. And then we'd be able to print this chart out. Note that if I go to the quality settings at this stage, I can't make any changes. So if I just exit the settings, if you do want to make any quality settings, uh, quality change settings, you'll need to do that within your queue settings. So if we go to the edit tab and go to QA settings, here we can change the quality settings. So if I did want to print any of those charts onto a different substrate, I can choose the media profile here. So let's just say that we're going to print this chart onto generic banner. And I can choose the print quality as well. If I click OK, and now I re-import the color chart. So if we go to media, color chart type 1. OK, it's now going to bring that into my queue. And it's going to take the settings from my queue settings, which I just set. So if I open the, the settings for this job now, We'll be able to see in the quality settings that it's now taken the generic banner setting at high speed as I just set in my queue settings. Now you can print the job onto that specific media using the quality settings and use your charts accordingly. Each, each chart that you print will have some information along the top. The information that it will have, if we just zoom in here, along the top, along here, it will say the machine that was used to print that chart. It will say the media type, so uh, the, the, the quality settings that you used. The ink type, uh, the machine and model and serial number, and also the date that the chart was printed. Now you can use your charts to color match your output and use the correlating spot color within your design programs. You'll know exactly what the output will look like as it was printed on your machine choosing your media and quality settings. And that's it for how to print the Roland Color Systems Library. Thanks.